Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Express LRS equipped radio as a wireless joystick for your computer. Before you get started, you do need an Express LRS module that supports Bluetooth, in my case, the 2.4 gigahertz happy model unit that I have does, and also the Zorro ELRS module does as well. I'll show you both of these in the video. We'll start out with the happy model, and that is in my TX16S. You also need to make sure you have the latest version of firmware. In my case, I'm running 2.2.0, which is the latest as of this video and you need the latest Lua script so you can enable Bluetooth functionality. So this is very simple. On your desktop computer, start up your Bluetooth interface, and this should work on any version of Windows. I'm running Windows 11, but it should work on anything that can pair with a Bluetooth device. So all I'll do is, in the Bluetooth uh, settings, I'll click Add Device, and I'm going to click on Bluetooth up here on the top. And it'll scan and find some things that are nearby that are Bluetooth. With the Express LRS Lua loaded up on your radio, scroll down to the option down here that says BLE joystick and press on the jog dial and that'll bring up a confirmation box. Would you like to enable the BLE joystick? We'll hit OK. And shortly after you do that, you should see it pop up on your desktop. In my case, it says Express LRS right there. So I'll click on that and then it should connect and pair all by itself. No passcodes required in this case. It just should pair directly. Once you've got a successful pairing, you can click on done. And what I'll do next is bring up a window that allows us to verify that things are working. So I'm just going to type the word joy in my search bar. And that brings up a little window that should show us when the device is connected. It should show us that device here in the window. And there we go, eight access, zero button gamepad. So double click on that. And when you do that, you move your sticks around. So I'm just moving one of my sticks around you should see movement on the screen. So that's a pretty good indicator that you've got a successful pairing for Bluetooth. The next thing I'll do is just bring up a flight simulator and show you what that looks like. All right, I've got the wing simulator fired up and I'll give you a look at what this looks like. So I'm just moving my stick on my radio with the aileron stick and you can see the airplane is rolling right and left and then I'll do a little bit of pitch up and down and here's a little bit of yaw action and the throttle, I guess I didn't configure the throttle right. But anyway, that just shows you that the radio is controlling the simulator. All right, I'll show you the same process with the Zorro as well. So fire up your radio, click on the system button, and then bring up the Express LRS Lua script. And it's the same process. You're gonna go down and look for the option that says BLE joystick and hit start BLE joystick, so press enter. And then after that, go to your computer and click on add device, select Bluetooth, and you should see Express LRS joystick pop up again. Click on that, and within a few seconds, it should pair up. And then I will bring up that same tool that I used before, it's called Joy Joystick, and then we'll double click on that. And once you double click on that, and you move around uh, your, your stick on the screen, you should see some movement in that Windows joystick evaluation tool, and that lets you know you've got a successful connection between your radio and the Windows computer. Before you guys start monkeying around with this, I've got a couple things I have to say. Number one, this did not work on my desktop computer at all. I was able to bind and everything works except for the movement in the joystick tool in Windows. No matter what I did, I could not get it to work. It does work on my laptops though, so I'm not sure. It's gotta be something to do with Windows. I really don't blame Express LRS for that. I blame Windows, that's a Windows issue. One other thing I'll say is I had a little bit of issues with distance. So when I had a Bluetooth module on the other side of a wood desk, I would see frequent dropouts. So it seems to work fine in open space, near a laptop, no problems at all. It's just as if it were wired to the computer. But I did have a couple of little hiccups. Another thing that I wanna point out about this configuration or this option is that if you need to change something in your radio, you're gonna to have to exit the BLE Lua script. Unfortunately, it does not maintain the 
Bluetooth connection in the background. So you have to exit the script, make your changes to the radio, and then go back in and reconnect. Now it should be as simple as backing out, make your change, and then turn the script back on. I just wanted to point that out because it's a little bit of an inconvenience versus say something like the FreeSky dongle that I just reviewed because with this it just behaves like your receiver in your plane and you don't have to enter or back out of anything and the connection is fully reliable even with a wood desk in the way. So while I do appreciate what they've got going on here, it's a little kludgy feeling compared to something that like this dongle that's a little bit more refined, but it does work. And if you have Express LRS already with a Bluetooth module in there, why not? Go for it. It's free. Don't co won't cost you anything. All right, that's all I've got on this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.